In China, everything seems to be bigger. Cities, highways, and of course, mega projects. And one project in particular stands out, the largest and most powerful dam in the world. With a reservoir so massive, it even slows down the Earth's rotation. The sheer scale of this structure is unlike anything the world has ever seen before. It's an inspiring but dangerous structure at the same time. While it generates electricity for millions of people, it's also repeatedly criticized for being at risk of collapse. But what lies behind it? And is the dam really in danger? In this video, we'll explore one of the biggest mega projects in the entire world, the Three Gorges Dam. At 2.3 kilometers along its longest point and towering at more than 180 meters, the Three Gorges Dam in Hubei is massive. It sits across the mighty Yangtze River and holds back a gigantic reservoir more than 600 kilometers across. This reservoir alone spans over an area larger than the entire island nation of Singapore. But the structure itself isn't the most impressive feature. With a total installed capacity of 22.5 gigawatts, it's also the world's largest power station of any kind. By comparison, the Grand Coulee Dam, America's most powerful, is only a quarter of the Three Gorges' capacity, and even nuclear power plants can't compete with its capacity. Operating at its theoretical limit, the entire facility is capable of providing power to more than four and a half million people all year round. But aside from generating a constant supply of clean and renewable energy to millions of people, there was another crucial reason why it was built. Villages and cities surrounding the Yangtze River have repeatedly fallen victim to heavy flooding. Minor floods happen almost every year during the rainy season. The biggest problem, however, are the major and long-lasting floods that are difficult to predict. It's estimated that around 90 years ago, the deadliest among them claimed between 3.7 and 4 million lives, so something needed to be done. Therefore, the concept for an enormous dam that could control the flow of the Yangtze was developed. Today, with more than 400 million people living around the area, this structure potentially saves many lives. The Three Gorges Dam has the capability of preventing catastrophic flooding further downstream, in cities such as Wuhan and Shanghai. This is made possible by storing huge volumes of water inside the reservoir during rainy seasons and controlling the amount of water that flows out. However, this system isn't flawless. During heavy rains in 2010, for example, they were forced to release water to keep the reservoir at a manageable level. This led to flooding, landslides, and unfortunately, the deaths of several hundred people downstream. Overall, it's estimated that the frequency of major flooding can be reduced from once every decade to just about once every century. So, how was it built? Building on this scale and across a massive river is no easy feat, and it took 17 years. So, in order to even begin construction, engineers had to overcome two challenges. They needed to block the Yangtze's flow upstream, and at the same time, they had to make sure that enough water could still pass through, since the river's continuous flow is vital for cities downstream. So, during construction, stone enclosures were placed upstream. This enabled workers to lay the first part of the foundations on dry land. To create a perfect balance, engineers made use of cofferdams and directed the Yangtze's flow around them. Once the concrete structure was completed, they started installing the first turbines. After that, the cofferdams were blown up, and the water reached the dam's turbines for the first time. In total, it cost over $30 billion. Other than power generation and flood control, another benefit of this mega project is that it's easier now to navigate the Yangtze upstream. With its winding turns and unpredictable water levels, the river is known to be a dangerous waterway to traverse. So the creation of the Three Gorges Dam helps to increase water levels upstream, allowing for the safe passage of even larger ships. To get massive ships across the dam, they use a series of ship locks and a very special feature, the largest ship lift in the world. This machine is capable of carrying vessels weighing as much as 3,000 tons over an elevation of 110 meters. Compared to the locks, which normally take up to four hours, this lift does the trick in only 30 minutes. The construction of such a massive and intricate mega project requires a high level of knowledge in science and engineering. Luckily, it's possible to learn about this in an easy and interactive way. 
And this is where we want to introduce today's sponsor, Brilliant. Brilliant is a great way to learn about math, data science, and computer science through interactive online courses. Whether you're aiming to nail a test or develop high-value skills for your career, Brilliant has got you covered. With thousands of exciting hands-on lessons, Brilliant caters to learners of all levels, from beginners to advanced enthusiasts. From data science and AI to engineering, new interesting lessons are added every month. Take a quick quiz when you sign up and you'll be matched with content that fits your skill level and interests. This way, you can explore concepts at your own pace. They also feature guest courses from YouTube channels like Kurzgesagt or Real Engineering. For example, in his course, you can learn about interesting engineering ideas, like this tether launcher that could be used to launch spacecrafts and satellites into orbit. Get started by visiting brilliant.org slash top luxury or clicking the link in the description. You get a 30-day free trial and the first 200 of you will get 20% off Brilliant's annual premium subscription. Thanks for supporting us. And now let's continue with the biggest ship lift in the world. Ever since the construction of these passageways, the freight capacity of the Yangtze has increased by as much as six times. Meanwhile, the cost of shipping has continued to decrease, proving the project's importance as a catalyst for economic growth in the region. Just recently, it was announced that more than 23,000 individual vessels passed through the Three Gorges in just the first half of 2023. This marks a 10% increase from the same period last year. Because it holds so many records, another side effect is that the structure became a tourist attraction, as much as 10 million tourists over the past five years. It even has its own viewing deck and exhibition hall, where tourists can get a brief glimpse of the project's construction. So far, this all sounds great, but of course, there are many challenges and problems when it comes to building a structure of this size and with such a large impact. So what are these problems? Even before construction began, it was already estimated by the developers that thousands of cities, towns, and villages would be either partially or completely submerged by the reservoir. Because of this, around 1.4 million people were forced to relocate to higher ground. Although the government provided compensation and assistance for relocation, there were reports of poor quality housing, lack of essential amenities, and inadequate infrastructure in the new resettlement areas. People had to leave behind their homes, farmland, and their communities. Another point to pay attention to is its tremendous and permanent effect on the environment and wildlife surrounding the Yangtze River. For example, ever since its construction, landslides have become a common occurrence within the area. Also, the Yangtze River is known for its richness in species and biodiversity, but some of these plants and animal species are now endangered. For example, the dam could be responsible for the extinction of the Chinese river dolphin and the Chinese paddlefish, though shipping certainly also plays a role here. Critics have also questioned the capabilities of the Three Gorges in preventing major floods with the most recent 2020 monsoon rainfalls. The Yangtze saw some of the highest average precipitation in almost 60 years as the heavy rains caused the river to overflow. More than 150 people were reported to have died or gone missing during this event, prompting a closer look at the efficacy of the project in preventing such disasters. And then there's one more thing. At first sight, this looks like a calm lake in a beautiful landscape. However, something sets this reservoir apart from any ordinary lake. Its existence is owed solely to the colossal dam. Should the unthinkable happen and the dam break, the massive amounts of water would roar downstream, sweeping away everything in their path. The consequences would be unimaginable communities devastated, lives lost, and a landscape forever changed. Such an event would put the lives of more than 400 million people living around the Yangtze River in danger. It would also threaten the very existence of major cities downstream, like Wuhan and Shanghai, and would prove catastrophic for the Chinese economy. Of course, the engineers are aware of this, and the dam is regularly inspected, but there still was concern when these satellite images showed up. They show a slightly distorted shape of the Three Gorges Dam, which is why concerns over its structural integrity were put into question. One German-Chinese hydrologist was even quoted in the media stating that cracks and substandard concrete were discovered. However, Chinese media were quick to dismiss the rumors, saying that the viral images were the result of algorithm errors in Google Maps. They also explained that the structure does in fact deform slightly, but not as much as the images have shown. The situation isn't simple. Nevertheless, it should be expected that its safety is a top priority, especially for the developers. 
To sum it up, it becomes evident that the role of this dam extends far beyond its engineering brilliance. It has to hold back the forces of nature as long as the reservoir behind it exists. So what does the future hold for this project? Although the theoretical maximum capacity of the power plant is 22.5 gigawatts, in reality only 45% of this is actually generated by the facility. Because of the Yangtze seasonal changes, the force of water flowing through the Three Gorges turbines can vary depending on the time of year. By comparison, the Itaipu Dam, located on the border between Brazil and Paraguay, sometimes actually outperforms the Three Gorges. The site of the plant used to be home to the world's largest waterfall by volume, which was subsequently submerged following the construction of the reservoir. Because of this, the flow of water across the Itaipu is much more consistent and stronger. To further increase the Three Gorges' efficiency, there have been studies conducted on the potential use of AI to optimize the facility's energy generation capabilities. Using historical data on the Yangtze's flow, researchers have been able to make use of algorithms to predict the power generation of the dam in any given season. They've concluded that these models can be used by its operators to increase efficiency in the long term. Another future plan to improve the Three Gorges is the construction of portage railways. Through this system, cargo from ships would be transferred onto awaiting trains as they are carried to the other side of the dam and loaded onto another vessel. In addition to the site's existing ship locks and lift, this future railway would make the transit of cargo across the dam even easier. With all these additions, the Three Gorges Dam continues to stand as a symbol of human engineering. But what do you think about it? Do you think its benefits can outweigh its negative consequences? Let us know down below. As always, thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.